Let's have a look at the Bravia XBR8, available in 55 and 46 inch models. Beautiful styling, speakers with this floating glass design on the side, very elegant look. But under the hood, behind the panel, is something special. Conventional LCD TVs are driven by a number of tiny cold cathode fluorescent lamps, basically tiny little fluorescent lights that light up the back picture. What the XBR8 uses is a cluster of LEDs that allow you to actually change the backlight in concert with the picture. This gives you unprecedented contrast ratio, beautiful detail, and the most accurate color available in an LCD. To give you an idea of what it looks like, each one of the clusters is made up of these two green LEDs and the red and the blue. That's why we call it triluminous because there are three colors. The primary colors, red, green, and blue, they're in our TVs, they're in our cameras. This is how we make all our colors on our visual products today. This is, if you think of the TV as the opposite of the camera, the camera captures the picture, you go through all these processes, the movie production, the Blu-ray burning, the actual mastering of the discs, getting those onto your TV. That entire process is something that Sony is deeply involved in, heavily in the broadcasting and the development of all that technology. And the Triluminous offers almost the exact opposite of the camera. So in the same way, this is a, an image of what a sensor looks like. So you've got the green uh, areas and the red and the blue each picking up those wavelengths. And then when we go to reproduce the colors, we can pick exactly the right kind of red, exactly the right kind of blue, and the right kind of green. We have more green because that's the color range where all our detail is coming through. So we actually can pick and modify it so it's very, very accurate. Looking at a sensor sort of from the other sort of an angle side, you can see that the sensor on the camera picks up the light rays that go through the red, that go through the green, that go through the blue. And when we replay that back, we have those same wavelengths coming back through the color filters so the color can be extremely accurate. So the great thing is that we can also now, because they're in little clusters, change the backlighting, this is called local dimming, to dynamically where it's dark keep that backlight lower where it's bright keep that backlight higher and this improves the contrast ratio and that exquisite color comes through this is a simulation to give you an idea of how local dimming works here's a picture of some kids playing soccer and the backlight all the clusters would light up at different intensities like this depending on what's happening in the scene so darker areas are lit less and brighter areas are lit more We'll fade it together to give you an idea so you can really see. You can see how the sky at the top, the clusters are really bright. And as we move in quickly and pull back, you can see that horizon line and the tall buildings in the back as the kids play around. Even on the, the line, you can see how the backlighting is working to improve the contrast ratio. I'll play it a couple more times here just so you can get a sense of how the local dimming moving in real time with the picture and the Bravi engine and all the image processing is working to give you the ultimate picture on an LCD. LED really is the state of the art and local dimming takes that to the next level. Now there are other great technologies for making an image we have edge lit LEDs that uh, we make a ZX1 that the image is made by white LEDs flashing into the middle. This doesn't allow us to have that local dimming and also the white LED while it gives a great color can't match the accuracy of a triluminous product. So the different technologies are available but each one has has different sort of compromises so with the edge lit LEDs you are not going to get local dimming you'll get exquisite thinness but you won't get that extra dimming and that extra color accuracy as well we have O LED product which again uses that same principle of having very accurate red green and blues but currently the image size is only up to uh, a small panel so we're looking at uh, going to 20 inch in the future still on the drawing boards whereas 46 and 55 inch XBR 8s are available right now even with other technologies we invented SXRD and the Cine Alta 4K is in hundreds of theaters across North America this projector can put 
a high definition, four high definition images on a screen simultaneously, one in each corner, and it's just an absolutely beautiful picture. But again, you're using a projector for the light source, a bulb to get all your high spectrum color, and it's obviously a very expensive product. So XBR8 gives us a great balance between having a nice, beautifully designed LCD TV and the, all the color and richness that the Triluminous can provide. So looking at the features, it comes in 46 and 55 inch, obviously full HD 1080p, 24p, playing every frame of a 24 frame shot movie on a Blu-ray disc perfectly. We've got the Bravia Sync, the Photo TV HD that automatically changes the settings when you're looking at still pictures, built-in TV guide, and a few other features we'll have a look at. The Bravia Engine 2 Pro is Sony's state-of-the-art image processing, including our DRC MF version 3 circuit. This circuit allows us to do enhancements even on 1080p footage, improving edge reproduction, improving detail, and giving you the ultimate in picture quality no matter what your source. In order to maximize the triluminous backlight and the great Sony panel, we use an image processing technology called Live Color Creation. A lot of colors are outside the spectrum of what can be picked up by a regular RGB video camera or studio camera. What we do is use a special algorithm to replot those colors into colors that they're supposed to be. This is the last piece of the picture puzzle that gives you beautiful vibrant colors and especially accurate skin tones which people are very sensitive to. Live color creation image processing is the last piece of the puzzle to getting it. The XBR8 includes a DLNA picture server which allows you to stream pictures directly from a PC on your home network to the XBR8. The way it works is something like uh, Windows Media will be on collecting your library of pictures. You connect the TV to your network with the Ethernet cable and then on the cross media bar you can browse and look at pictures. There are several slideshow options and you always have the latest pictures because they're on your computer and being drawn onto the TV. The last feature we want to talk about is Motion Flow Pro 120 Hertz. Some of the initial Motion Flow kinds of 120 Hertz ideas put a black frame in between two frames. This gives the illusion of a smoother motion but could create a flickering effect. With Motion Flow Pro 120 Hertz, you actually use a bit of black and have that scale down the screen. It's called backlight blinking. In the mode, when you select Motion Flow, you've got standard, high, and clear. Clear is the mode that combines these techniques to give us the most advanced 120 Hertz method available today and it's made possible by those backlights because we can completely adjust them. Motion Flow Pro 120 Hertz combines black frame insertion and extra frames to give you backlight blinking technology. This gives you the best of both worlds without visual flickering. The mode is called clear on them. So to close, the key features of the XBR8, the thing that gives it the unparalleled picture quality, are the triluminous dynamic LEDs. By being able to pick the red, green, and blue, we have the most accurate color. The local dimming improves the dark and light. The whole contrast of the set is just unmatched in an LCD TV. And Motion Flow Pro 120 Hertz is just the best 120 Hertz available today. So thanks for taking the time to have a look at this course. Please be sure to uh, look for this material and others on convergineer.sony.ca and we'll be talking to you again soon.